Sometimes a tooth is removed and a dental implant is not placed right away. Without a tooth, the jawbone usually shrinks. The result is often significant bone loss. This bone loss isn't the person's fault, it's the natural resorption process that typically causes the bone deterioration. In order to have a dental implant and teeth at a later date, the person may need more bone to anchor the implant. There are several ways to reproduce the bone so that your jaw will be able to accept a dental implant. These are called bone grafting techniques. Socket grafting is bone added at the time of your tooth removal. The tooth will be removed and the bone grafting material will be placed in the hole left after removing the tooth for a four-month healing process. The bone heals and the dental implant can then be placed. A tooth is placed on the dental implant. For patients that have more bone missing, a technique involving placing blocks of bone in the area with missing bone works well. The blocks are shaped to the desired size and place with titanium screws. They are left to heal for four to five months. When the bone heals, there is plenty of bone for a dental implant. When it is not possible to use a block, a softer mix of bone substitute is placed where bone is missing and covered with a tarp called a membrane. This graft also grows bone. When the bone heals, a dental implant is placed and allowed to heal, and the final tooth is placed on it. Bone grafting procedures are safe, and their success keeps improving with new technology. Still, they are not 100% successful, and several efforts may be needed for success. The main complications that can happen are failure to grow bone, infection, pain. All of these complications are usually easily controlled and treated with appropriate antibiotics and pain medicine. The advantages far outweigh the risks, giving you new permanent teeth that should last you a lifetime.